are hanging proudly. Tonight, we are thrilled to have the Holiday Jazz Quartet from Minneapolis featuring the stylings of Rosie Prohaska on bass drum with our national anthem. Also, Broncos in town. Minneapolis Lady Lions getting ready to take, take them on for the second league game of the year. I know the ladies would like to even their record at one and one in league play tonight, Vic. Yeah, I was just talking with an individual earlier and talking about the uh, Russell Lady Broncos and they got some height and uh, I noticed in the score in the paper the other night that the Mahoney gal had 17 points in their last game and uh, he made the comment she won't get that many tonight. Uh, and if the ladies play the defense that they've been playing the last several games, she won't get that either. Uh, Minneapolis shut down Shante Syme Tuesday night. Southeast big high-powered scorer held her to just six points. Uh, Steph Whitman in the, in the tournament last weekend, they held her way below her season average. So we'll see what the defense does tonight, Mike, and we're gonna get that offense on track. Lady Lions starting their normal five. They've started all year long with Lindsey Perry, Melissa George. Stephanie Alderson, Megan Livengood, and Mallory Goeth. Another big game out of Megan tonight, Mike, down on the down on the boards. Russell has a pretty good size lineup here, and yeah, you're right, Vic. It will take a, a good game from Megan and Mal inside. Stay out of foul trouble and control that defensive board. stays to their game plan as they have in the past. Minneapolis with a very deliberate offense and pretty stingy defense. And if we keep uh, Russell under 35 points and we score 40, it'd be a heck of a game for us. Turnovers again are gonna be a key. We gotta keep the turnovers to a minimum. If it's anything like the C-team game there, the the Bron Lady Broncos, I'll call them, uh, put the pressure on uh, all over the floor, especially when they were behind. They brought the pressure defense, so we'll have to take care of the ball. Okay, we're just.
just about set for the tip here. Mallory Go at the jump center for the Lady Lions. And Valerie Mahoney for the Lady Broncos. Minneapolis controls the tip. Lindsey Perry out to Steph. She spots for a three. It's just off. Steph with a good look and a three ball. Just went off the back rim. 0-0 zero, zero here in early going. Minneapolis in their 2-3. And they'll shoot the three ball too. Way short. It's They're short. There to pick it up. Up it in for two points for Russell. Broncos put some pressure on Minneapolis across the timeline, gets the ball down low to Alyssa George. Mallory up. Back up. She scores. All right, with good work inside on the offensive board, and we're tied at two. like she might have gotten fouled on the first shot and followed her own shot, put the second one up and in. Broncos put one up pretty quick. Mallory puts a hand on the rebound but doesn't get it. Broncos back out top with it. Swing it to the side, they kick it across court. Mallory, Mallory steps in for the steal. Nice anticipation there, Vic. The Lady Lions head the other way. Lindsay kicks it out to the top to Mallory, he swings it over to Steph, over to Alyssa on the side. Lindsay back to the top of the key. Russell in a zone similar to ours, 2-3 uh, matchup or a 2-1-2, two, two, whoever's in the middle. And that zone defense could open up that outside shooting for Minneapolis. They'll need to take advantage of that. That ball belongs to White. It's off blue, so it'll stay with Minneapolis, and they'll play it in underneath their own goal. Lens with a dump down to Mal, and she was triple teamed, and it went off the Russell Broncos leg. Russell nice with shot. a nice step in. Mallory, Mallory goes up high for the rebound, and she's fouled by number 30, I believe, for the Lady Broncos. Excellent board. Uh, glad to see us getting these offensive boards. That's aggressiveness. Megan, uh, Megan and Mal both in good position for that. Lady Lions to trigger it under their own basket. They kick it back out the top to Steph, who sets the offense. Lindsey Perry steps up, takes a shot. We're going to have a tied up ball, and that ball is going to go to Russell on the alternate possession. Nice rebound there by Melissa George to pick that up. Ball got loose, got on the floor for the tie up. Mahoney spots for three again. Off Russell, ball inbounds to Minneapolis. Alyssa George sandwiched over there, and it goes off the Russell Broncos head and out of bounds. Ball to Minneapolis. That's the second three that Valerie's thrown up for Russell, and they both missed their mark. It looks like she's going to be wanting to shoot the threes tonight, so the Lady Lions are going to have to put some defense on that. Lance breaks the timeline. Fancy board by Mal, and it should be our possession arrow to Minneapolis, and we'll trigger it in underneath our own basket. Listen, George needs to hit that little five-footer over there. And that pass was into the on. lane for Mallory, and it skipped through, and Alyssa caught it. Nice inbounds pass by Lindsay to get that ball into Mallory. Ball just comes off the front of the rim. Alyssa George going to be called for the traveling violation. Well, pretty good looks in close and not able to capitalize there early on some easy shots. Just under five minutes to go in the first quarter. Scores tied 2-2. Russell with the ball. Pop to the top. They swing it over to the left side. Pass it underneath. It catches the net. Mallory goes up high for a good board. Lindsey brings it across the timeline. We're going to set the offense. Steph up top. Kicks it over the side to Alyssa. That She's fouled by foul. number 10. She'll go to the line, shoot two. It's a good call. It's a nice step in by Alyssa to get a better look at the basket. Nice head fake and in for an easy eight-footer, and she's uh, hammered. 
She'll shoot too. Lissa's first shot's just a little hard, comes off the back of the rim, falls off. Brooke Pichel and Anna White and, and Megan and Steph get a break. Lynn's with an offensive board off that missed free throw. And Minneapolis set their offense. She's fouled again. Alyssa's well, gonna go to the line again. That'll be the third team foul on the Lady Broncos from Russell. Alyssa with another good look foul inside. Russell's gonna take a 30 second timeout. Well, they won't last long if they keep fouling every time we bring the ball down the court. We've got some good looks there. Good ball movement around to the backside real quick. And Russell slow getting back on uh, shifting their defense. And Melissa George there with an easy shot. And they fouled her two, three times here in a row. Minneapolis need to take advantage of that too, Mike, because they look like Russell's playing a pretty good aggressive defense. And if they can get a good look like that, head fake up, they can pick up some pretty good, pretty cheap fouls. I think they're content to stay in that zone, knowing that uh, possibly we may not be the best out, outside shooting ball club. So we'll have to work the ball in. We get it a little late, 10 footer. We better take advantage of it when we get it. 421 left in the first quarter. Let's George free throw up and in. Minneapolis up 3-2. Second one's up and in and out. Halfway down and back out. And Russell. Lind Lindsay with a good, good steal hand on that ball. Nice steal. She goes all the he way. Takes it to the basket, misses an easy layup. Nice move by Lindsay. Heck of a steal. Took it to the rack. Just a little bit too hard off the glass. And we tie him up. Possession arrow to Russell. Alyssa George with the loose ball. Back over to Lenz. There you go. Get in there. She'll shoot two. Lenz with a drive down the lane. Nice little uh, ten footer there, and she's fouled. He called that. He called that foul push after the shot, Mike. So it'll be an inbounds play for Minneapolis. You are right. After the shot, Alyssa George travels. Alyssa with that long step on that catch, she needs to put the ball on the floor before she goes to the hoop. Lindsay applies a little pressure as Russell brings the ball up. Drops back into the 2-3 zone. Anna's got to go get that ball. And Lynn's caught with an arm across Russell Bronco's arm. They catch Lindsay with a with the reach-in foul. Russell kicks it in under their own goal. Swings it back up to the top. Anna White picks up a loose ball. Good defense by the Lady Lions there. Tipped early by Mal, went through the Bronco player's hand, and Anna White on the back side picks it up. Ball to Minneapolis. Brooke Fisher with a good look. It doesn't drop. Mallory over the back. Foul's on number 44. Mallory caught leaning in on that rebound, Mike. Needs to post up, get a little bit better position on those. Skip pass, clear across court. We got to stop that second chance by Russell. It's definitely a matchup 2 3 zone. Lens over to Steph. Inside Anna White. 
Tipped off Megan's foot and out of bounds. Back in the game for Minneapolis, number 15. Melissa George comes back in and takes Brooke Fischel's place. Four to three, Russell, with two minutes, 19 seconds left here in the first quarter. Good defense by Big Blue. Tipped nice away hand by in there by Alyssa George. George. Tipped that ball away on the entry pass. Steph sets the offense over the wing lens back up front to Steph. Anna White is Anna White. offensive board. Anna covers up the rebound. She goes back up for the shot. She's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Nice free throw by Anna White. Ties the score at four. And a second attempt on the way, and it's good. Free throw is so important. Anna White off the bench here with two. And Minneapolis takes the lead, 5-4. Lindsay, Lindsay with, with a the good rebound. rebound. She could. She's going to bring it out. Just over a minute to go in the period. Minneapolis leads 5-4. Lindsey Perry out to the half court line with the ball. Russell content to sit back in the 2-3 zone. That's our game. Yeah, Russell's wanted to run here early in the early in the first period. But Minneapolis not allowing him to do it. Lindsay doing a little dribble exhibition out there for the fans. Shot by Steph is too strong and Russell claims the board. 30 seconds left here and they're gonna look for the last shot. Russell looks like they'll hold for the last shot. Minneapolis will sit back in that 2-3 zone. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. Stephanie Steph Alderson, good rebound. We got time. Lens lets it Lindsay go. Lindsey lets it fly, and it's just off the rim. Oh. It accounted if it went, Mike. Well, it looked like we had time for a shot. Steph made the pass, and from, I guess, the timeline or just the hash line, 10 second line, Lenz let one fly it, off the glass. It uh, was close. Well, she gave it a chance. 5-4 at the end of the first quarter. Lady Lions with a solid effort on the defensive end and uh, rebounding both ends seem to be pretty solid. Uh, excellent position and uh, playing hard. Just like many apps to start the second quarter the way they started the game. Megan, Mallory, Stephanie, Lindsay, and Alyssa. Minneapolis will inbound the ball. I told her I hadn't seen that ball go between her legs yet this year, so I think that's why she did that, just for dad. They close it off, and Lynn looks at the three and passes back over to Steph. It's intercepted by Russell. She traveled. Now we gotta watch her passes. Here comes the trap. Now with a nice drive scores. down the lane. Score it. Makes score seven six, Lady Lions. A 
good board there. Good position on that rebound. You bet. Nice look by Alyssa George. Drop that wraparound pass into Mallory. She goes up, puts it off the window for two. Minneapolis nice with a 9-6 lead. Mallory with a strong move to the glass, and it hits in. She got a walk on that. Mallory took, made the attempt for the three, but then took off before she put the dribble down. Called for the traveling violation. Minneapolis to inbound. It's like a trap coming up here for the Broncos. Steph with a good look down court, and we clear the timeline. Back out front to Steph, over to Lenz. Nice look by Alyssa on that drop step there. Well, good that bucket. that keeps dropping forward tonight, they're gonna be in trouble, because that shot's been there all That's night right. long so far. 11-6, Minneapolis. We got us a jump it. ball, and it'll be Russell Broncos' ball. Brooke Pischel coming back in for the Lady Lions, and she's going to take Megan Livengood's place. Russell to inbound underneath their goal. Neither team shooting the ball very well. There's a walk right there. The walk. Looked like there was a step there to me. Man, think about it. I she's been shooting too strong. There's Alyssa again on a nice drop to the bucket. Alyssa shuts down the baseline. Mahoney can't drive. Mallory with a big board. Good position. Went up strong for that and covered it up nice. Stephanie crosses the timeline and will set the offense. Swing it back over to the side to Lindsay. Back to the top. Steph over to List. Back to Steph. shot by Alyssa George. She walked, no call. That was another walk, her own person, her own teammate pushed her backwards, no travel called. Russell brings it back to within one to 11-10. 4.20 to go in the half. Good ball movement by the Lady Lions. And we've got some pretty good looking shots. Yeah. That's going to be a pushing and foul on number 10. Foul on number 10, Rebecca Triple. That's 16 fouls, Mike, on the Lady Broncos. One more on the Lady Lions will be at the free throw line. Be nice to get an easy one here. Back on the floor for Minneapolis, number 24, Anna White. Game for the Lady Broncos, Holly Pickbottom, number 30, and Bethany Doherty, number 34. Lady Lions patient with the offense. Alyssa steps in, takes a nice 10 oh, yeah. four, and it's in. 13 10, Minneapolis, 344 left in the first half. Pretty much identical offensives here, and both teams running uh, approximately the same defense. Lions playing good defense right now, Mike. Mahoney spots up for three. We're going to get 24 over the back, I believe, 34. That's going to put Alyssa George on the line shooting a one on one. That foul was called on blue, 24. That's her second. 
Russell has two girls with two fouls now, number 10 and 24. Alyssa George will shoot a one and one here. 3.15 left in the first half. Lady Lions are up 13-10. You stretch it out to five right here, Vic. Yeah. First one's up and in. Minneapolis could make a living at the line tonight, Mike, if they keep playing the playing the defense and blocking out the way they have. Second There's shot's good. Lady Lions with a 15-10 lead. 3.15 to go in the half. Broncos, five foot five, junior number 22, Aaron Siler. We need to locate number 21 and make sure she doesn't get an easy look at a three ball here because a couple threes could just uh, wipe our lead away real quick here. And Valerie can shoot the three too, so Minneapolis needs to keep a hand in her face. Russell fans calling for a foul there. 15-12. Minneapolis. Kind of a dangerous pass by Lenz, but it's tracked down by Alyssa George. 225 left. Over the wing to Brooke, back out front to Lindsay. She takes 12 footer way off. Lindsay steps in, comes across the arm, trying to get the ball, and she's called for her second personal foul. Russell inbounds. Mahoney's bringing it across the timeline. A minute 54 left here. We don't want Lens to pick up a third foul here for one thing. Nice hand in there by Megan. Just keeping her position and going straight up. Good yeah. job. Nice look by the Lady Lions down there. Good look by Lens over to Alyssa George. And Russell right back at us. Russell's wanting to run. Minneapolis going to have to hustle back on defense. Back out front, Russell working the ball. Minute to go in the half, Minneapolis with the 17-14 lead. Lindsey bringing it up, Russell applying a little pressure. Brooke back over to Lindsey, cross court pass to Alyssa who drives to the bucket, she drops in a pass, it's off for Russell. Minneapolis to inbound under their own goal. Stephanie Alderson, Mallory Goeth coming back in for the Lady Lions, gonna spell Anna White and Lindsey Perry. Now we're back choice in. to get Lens out so she don't pick up a cheapie here with just 48 seconds to go. Mallory picks up a silly foul there going up over the top. Fouls off Mallory, go up to number 44, her second personal foul. And deep foul number four. She had no chance to get that rebound, Mike. She should have just backed off and went back and set the D. 45 seconds left here in the first half. And Russell with the ball, probably looking for the last shot. Nice hustle by the Lady George Lions. Steals the ball and hustle goes after it and we get the last shot. Be nice for uh, Steph to get a three ball right here at the end. Going to hold her out front and wind her down to about 10 seconds and then let's make our move. Listen with a good drive around under the baseline there. Kicks it back out to Stephanie. Back over to Brooke. Brooke is, and that's how the half ends. Minneapolis with a 17-14 lead. Lady Lions cannot get a shot off before the first half ends. And we're ahead, 17-14. Well, pretty solid first half. I'd 
sure like to see us get a shot off there at the end of the first half there. And we had two looks and decided to dribble a couple of times. Sometimes you can't pass those up. You gotta go ahead and take them when the clock's running down like that. All right, we get Lens dialed in here in the second half. She's had a lot of good luck looks, but they're not dropping. And Lisa George and the rest are carrying the load. Good defense by all the girls down there. Lens, a little bit of foul trouble. Russell has two girls with two fouls, so could be a good second half here. Minneapolis also has two gals with two fouls, Lindsay and Mallory. Forgot Mal picked up her second foul late, late there in the second half, so. Pretty even in fouls, nobody with three, so. And you'll probably see a mirror image of what you saw in the first half and the second half, so. We'll be back with Ed here shortly. Run. Minneapolis will have the ball to start the, start the second half, Mike. Possession arrow to Minneapolis, and Alyssa George will throw the ball in, Lenz. We'll set the offense. Russell back in there, 2 3. Match up zone. That's a nice look by Mal. Got the ball inside in the paint, and Mallory's tough in there, 19 14. Nice inlet pass by Alyssa. Minneapolis kicking around outside, looking for the inside shot. Mallory steps in front of that one and picks it off. How about those long arms? They come nice in handy for something besides flailing Mal. on her brother. Great anticipation by Mallory Goeth. Intercepts the ball, and we're back on the offense. Lindsay follows her rebound or shot and gets the board. Kind of wish she'd just go ahead and shoot another one. She'd get her get dialed in a little easier. Yeah. 24. A foul on 2-4. I believe that's her third foul, Mike. Foul foul number 24, Shannon Killian. That's her third personal foul. First team foul. The second half for Russell. Back out front to Steph, back over to Lenz, the three Lindsay, ball. Three from it's the corner there. is nothing but net. I've been nice waiting look. for that one for a while. That was a nice that look a by nice Lindsay. Shot. Stepped up and put it right in. That's that a walk on right Russell. There. Turnover is going to give the Lady Lions the ball out. Russell's going to call a 30 second timeout, Mike. Coach wants to put a stop on here. Lady, Lions, Lady Lions with a 22 14 lead. Well, that'll put a smile on a dad real quick. Minneapolis up 22-14. 637 left here in the third quarter. Minneapolis with a good spurt here to start the second half, which is really unusual so far this year. Third quarters have been rather slow, uh, Dale. <laughs> Five quick points by the Lady Lions in less than a minute and a half. And it's Minneapolis inbound the ball. Lindsey Perry will bring it up. She crosses the timeline, sets the offense. Russell. Not willing to put that half court trap on. Back to Steph. She can Steph hit that. Steph spots ball. up for three. Megan goes up strong for the board. She's fighting for it, and they're going to give the ball to Russell Come off on. Minneapolis. It's good hustle by Megan. And it looked like Russell might have touched that ball last, but they give it to Russell. Good hustle by Megan and, and keeping with that. <laughs> Minneapolis needs to get a hand up, put it in her face. Russell gets, puts on a full court press and that's why they weren't doing the half court trap. They're gonna set up in a full court press every time they score. Good way to stop that is to keep the ball and don't let them score. Good ball movement. Swing it around, nice, nice seal by Mallory. And George. And there's Megan. Megan right there for the putback. 
Good position by Megan Livengood. And the putback, count it, 24-16. Megan's first two points of the night. Russell swings the ball the other side, a three ball by Mahoney. And nice position by Alyssa George. Blocked out, sealed out. Run her, she wouldn't let her back out. in. She stayed with that block out till that ball went out of bounds too. Broncos putting on full court press. Lions are gonna break the press, cross the timeline, Lindsay on a dribble, catches Alyssa, she comes in. Ball falls. Yes. She got away with a scoot of the feet. 26-16, Minneapolis. Russell. Skip pass, cross court. I think we're gonna get Stephanie from behind with a push on that, Mike. Russell's first uh, attempt at the goal didn't draw iron and they get the offensive board and the putback, it's on Megan. Yeah, they gave that foul to Megan. I thought it was Stephanie on the push from behind. Russell to shoot two free throws, and the first one's up and in. Substitution for Minneapolis. We've got Anna White coming in for Megan Livengood, and Brooke Pichel coming in for Stephanie Alderson. Second attempt by Russell is up and in. 26-18, Minneapolis. Full court press again by the Lady Broncos. They break it. Alyssa with the drive. She wrap around pass. She's called for the travel before she could dump it off. It's a nice wrap time. around pass. She'd have had Anna White for a nice, easy bucket there. Balls off Russell. Lady Lions play it in. Still got the full court press on. The Lady Lions break it and they have numbers. Cut to Brooke Pischel. Those traveling violations are just eating us right now. Minneapolis needs to put the ball on the floor before they take off to the bucket. Two in a row. Two consecutive times down the They need to start floor, getting some of those travel. easy looks and stuff that they're getting, Mike, because the tough defense that the Lady Lions are playing that's their only reward is to catch those. She was down over the good back. position on that, and that's going to be a foul on number 42 for the Broncos, their second team foul of the half. But the Lady Lions on them, on them uh, breaks and stuff, they getting good looks at the basket. They need to convert those because that's the reward for their defense. I think we're going to get Alyssa George with a block. It's Alyssa's first personal. We cannot turn the ball over. And we give them an extra easy shot. And one. Number 30 backs underneath Mallory. No foul called. She gets it off. Minneapolis crosses the timeline. Lindsay's right there to set the offense. 26-20 with three minutes, 38 seconds left in the third quarter. I think they got Mal with her third. That's three fouls on Mallory, and she's going to come out. Megan Livengood will come in and take her place. Fouls on number 44, Mallory Gold. Her third personal foul. And two fouls three. Mal takes a seat with 318 left in the third quarter. She just picked up her third. The absent needs to step in there and deny that entry pass. Also 
And yeah, was patient on the offensive end here, looking for a good shot. There's a good one. It's over the top. Megan with an offensive board, and we reset. Stephanie backs to the back out. Bad pass by Stephanie, and Russell steps in there and picks it off. She drives all the way and scores. That makes the score 26-24. Russell's right back in this thing. Coach Darrow wisely gets a 30-second timeout to avoid the five-second call. Lady Lions just need to be patient. They're hurrying things just a little bit. We have to watch her passes. Russell taking advantage of the Minneapolis turnovers has got themselves back in this ball game. 26-24 Lady Lions. Two minutes left here in the sec uh, third quarter. And they're going to keep the pressure on us. So we're going to have to figure out how to make a decent pass and quit traveling. Two times down the court. We didn't even get a look because of traveling. Two other times bad passes, turnovers, and Russell still in the 2-3 zone. Lenz with the pass over to Staff, over the wing, back out to Lenz. Over to Alyssa George. They're swinging it side to side. Nice look inside to Anna White. Catches a cutting, Alyssa George. And Alyssa with a silly foul coming over, over the top. That pick, she picks up her second one of the night. I think they could have easily called a foul on the shot. No call. Coming down to a minute, to half, minute and a half to play in the third quarter. Minneapolis holds a slim 26-24 lead. by yeah. Stephanie to kick that ball out. <laughs> Russell didn't have to Russell. Russell didn't have to worry about a backcourt violation on that. The ball was tipped by Stephanie, so she didn't she could have chased it down in the backcourt with no violation. Right. And she just was an eyelash away from stepping out of bounds over here when Russell corralled it here. Right it will be Russell's sideline. ball. Some good minutes there by Anna White. Uh, looks like Brooke will go back in. I'll keep the good ball movement and uh, keep them off that offensive glass down there. And we'll be in good shape and limit our turnovers here as the Lady Russell Broncos apply uh, that full court pressure. Minute and four left to go in the third quarter. Russell had the inbound. Lady Lions set back in their 2-3 zone. No, they pick up man-to-man. -man. Nice defense by the ladies, Lady Lions. It was off blue, and they're going to give it to Minneapolis on the Real good out of bounds. by the ref. Lenz breaks the pressure. And Russell. It's probably four or five traveling violations on Alyssa yet this evening. At least. Those are costly turnovers. Need to eliminate some of those turnovers to keep this keep the lines in this game. Twenty-five seconds to go in the quarter. Mahoney with the Mahoney lock. shuffles her feet as Excellent. she comes up to Steph playing good defense. Stephanie stood her ground. Steph not willing to give. 
20 seconds left. Lens with the ball. Minneapolis has 16 seconds to. Terrible pass by Stephanie Alderson. Why didn't she just dribble it on over? Megan reaches in to get a hand in there on Valerie as she goes in for the layup. She fouls her. That'll put Valerie Mahoney on the line shooting two with 9.4 seconds to go in the quarter. Mahoney playing out of control. Travels down the lane and they call foul on Minneapolis. Valerie's first attempt is up and out. Second nine, one to follow. Nine seconds left here in the third quarter. All the ladies got to do, Mike, is get it inbounds and hold it. They don't even have to get it across the timeline. Alyssa puts up a shot to end the quarter and it's off, but it wouldn't have counted anyway. I would have loved to watch that go in. Lady Lions up one, cling to a one point lead here at the end of the third quarter, 26-25. Well, third quarter had uh, Lady Lions with quite a few turnovers. Numerous bad passes and traveling calls allowed Russell to get back in this ball game. Opportunistic, the Russell Lady Broncos take advantage of those turnovers, score points, and find themselves just behind one point. Turnovers have hurt us, Mike, so far this year, and that's what got Russell back into this third quarter. Lions jumped out to a 10-point lead earlier, early in the in the quarter. The turnovers were just too many and allowed Russell to get back in here. Like you said, they're only trailing by one, 26-25. They'll have the inbounds to start the final period. During the quarter break, number 10, Rebecca Tribble, number 24, Shannon Pillion, and number 42, Natasha Florian. Minneapolis in their 2-3 zone. Russell, patient on the offensive end here, looking for an easy shot. Brooke Fischel runs that rebound down. Minneapolis will bring it up the floor. Backside defense and Russell with an offensive board. Russell starting the quarter, Mike, without Valerie Mahoney out there. The Lady Lions need to take advantage of that. Hear that slap far up here. <laughs> Lindsey Perry picks up her third personal. Sixth team foul for the Lady Lions. One more. The Lady Broncos would be on the free throw line shooting the bonus. Killian's first free throws up and in, ties the score at 26 all. Mallory checks in for Minneapolis, spells Megan live and good. Killian's second throw is up and in, and Russell takes the 27 26 lead. That should have been a push foul on number 10. I don't know how they missed that. Now we're going to get a walking ball violation on Stephanie Alderson. Number 10 all but ran over Stephanie down there in the corner, and no call made. Too many turnovers here in the second half, and Russell with a one-point lead, looking for more. Lindsay good with defense a good by Lindsay. She jumps in there and gets a hand on that and steals it. The 
official lets the Russell crowd call the three-second violation. He had no idea what was going on. Call your own game, ref. Minneapolis with another turnover. Brooke Fischel in the cot, three seconds in lane. There's a nice steal. Good hand by Alyssa George with another steal for the Lady Lions. Now we need to take advantage of that steal. Well, our defense are keeping us in this ball game here. Yes, they sure. are. Foul. Alyssa drives and she's fouled going to the hole. She'll go to the line shoot two. I think that's the second Lady Bronco with three fouls on her. Minneapolis with three three this gals. First one's up and in, and that ties the game at 27. Free throw shooting a lot better for the Lady Lions tonight, Mike. And this game might come down to free throws at the end. Unless the second one's up and in. 28-27, Minneapolis takes the lead with five minutes, 45 seconds left here in the, in the ball game. Lions need to play tough, smart defense. Five and a half minutes to go in the game. Minneapolis with a 28-27 lead. Russell swinging the ball side to side, looking for Mahoney cutting. She's moving up to the top of the key. They kick it inside to her. Alyssa with a hand on that, almost got a tip. Nice drop down pass by Mallory, breaking the press. She Mallory gets it down low to Alyssa basket. George. Good look inside. Easy basket for Alyssa George on a good look by Mallory Goth. Three. Three. That's going to be a white ball off Russell. There is a 10 band parked on the west side of the school building. Minneapolis with, gets the ball in. Lands picks up her dribble. We've got an easy two on one. Lady Brooke. Lions are going to kick it back out top. Very right? smartly pulls that one back out. <laughs> Minneapolis holding a 30 29 lead. Brooke Pischel puts one up from about 15 and foot, baby. and it's good. Nice shot by Brooke Pischel. Minneapolis. That's Brooke's first two points of the evening. Minneapolis now with a three-point advantage with four minutes to go in the game. Just keep playing the tough, smart defense. Patient on the offensive end. Alyssa well, George with a hand on that ball. It's tipped, but goes straight to the Russell girl. Good pressure defense by Minneapolis. Mahoney spots up for three. She drains it. That ties the score at 32. Three and a half minutes to go in the quarter. Lindsey Perry bringing the ball up. We have numbers. Mallory goes to the hole and she scores off a nice dump down pass from Lindsey George inside. Lady Lions call a timeout. Nice move, nice play. Yeah, I think it's all right to push that ball down the court like that. We had a good three on two. Uh, nice dump down to Mal. She takes it to the rack for an easy two. Minneapolis with a two-point lead here with 327 left in the ball game. Well, like every game so far this year, we've been right there at the end, and hopefully the Lady Lions can prevail here, get a couple buckets, stretch this lead out just a little bit, and they can play a little comfortable. More comfortably. I told you 40, we'll, we'll get 40, we'll win. So Russell brings the ball up the floor with 320 left to go in the game. Mahoney with a nice drop step. 
move down there on the baseline. She puts it in, ties the score at 34. Minneapolis gets the ball across the timeline. One thing we can't do is match up and play man-to-man -man defense against that Mahoney girl because she, just like that right there. Brooke with a nice a drive to the, the bucket, picks up her second basket of the night, gives Minneapolis 36-34 lead. Just under three minutes to go in the game. Looks like Mahoney's going to be the go-to gal here at the end of the ball game. Mallory jumps up and gets a piece of that ball. Lindsey Perry picks it up on the loose ball. Lady Lions nice going to kick it. by Mal, and no one knew that it wasn't going to draw iron, and Lenz picks it up, and we've got the possession. Brooks spots for a 15-footer. There's Mallory with a nice position on Oh, they're going to call Mallory for the foul. She looked like she had the position there. That's four personals on Mallory. That was a tough call. Two minutes, 19 seconds to go in the game. Mike, I think you leave her in there. One and one for Russell. First throws up and it's in. Makes the score 36-35. Minneapolis with 219 to go in the game. Lady Broncos with only three team fouls so far in the half, Mike, so fouls are not an issue for them. Second throw is off. Brooke Pischel with an excellent rebound. She's knocked to the floor by number 44, no foul called. We're gonna call a jump ball and the ball will go to Minneapolis on the alternate possession. Stephanie Alderson in for the Lady Lions. She's gonna take Brooke's place, get another ball handler out there. Stephanie Situation substitution error by coach. Lands Crowd wanting a traveling travel. call, but I think she was pushed from behind. Nice drop down pass by Alyssa. Kicks it into Megan. Megan kicks it back out, and we're going to run some clock. Minneapolis with a one-point lead here. Alyssa George, baseline drive is she up and in. She steps up and she hits a big basket, Mike. Gives the Lady Lions 38-35 lead with a minute 40 to go in the game. Mallory with a nice hand in there. I thought the ball might have went off the Russell knee, but it stays with Russell down on their end. Big basket by Alyssa George. Baseline drive, 12-footer, nothing but net. Minute 33 left in this ball game. It's tight. Late whistle by the official, looked like a traveling violation, but he's gonna call a foul on the Lady Lions, and I believe that's gonna be on <laughs> Stephanie. That's her first first personal. Sends Lady Broncos line for another one and one. First shot's up, off the glass and in. He'll shoot the second one here, and it's off. Mallory with a big board. Steph will bring it down in no hurry. 120 to go in the game, Mike. Minneapolis with a two-point lead. They're going to take the ball out front, and we're going to run some clock. I think they're going to force Russell to foul, which Russell has several fouls to give. One minute. Boy, that lane's wide open. Yes, it is. We get a cutter going in there. We can look for a nice basket. Russell's going to pick up man-to-man -man right here. Melissa's going to take advantage of that open lane. And we throw it away. Inside, they should have kicked it back out. Russell collapsed on the we defense. We don't need that. Minneapolis needs to play tough defense here. No fouls. 38, 36, 40 seconds to go in the game. Russell throws up a three. Megan Livengood with the big board. 
We get a timeout by Minneapolis. Coach Darrow. Coach Darrow takes a full timeout with 30.7 seconds to go in the game. Minneapolis with a two-point lead, Mike. Thirty-six, Minneapolis clinging to a two-point lead. Thirty seconds left in this ball game, and we have the ball. Minneapolis is going to have to play good, smart offense here right now. Mike uh, Russell with four fouls to get, three fouls to give before we're in the bonus. There's only thirty-point seconds to go in the game, so look for Russell to foul early. Bad thing about it is a marginal foul by Russell and a turnover. And we don't shoot free throws, and they get the ball. So we're going to have to watch it. It's going to be full court pressure by the Lady Broncos. Megan Liven good to pull the trigger for the Lions, having to go the length of the floor. They kick it in over the top to Alyssa. That should be an intentional foul because she didn't even go for the ball, Mike. She wrapped her up. I got an intentional. But like I said, many of the Russell's going to foul quick, so. Minneapolis will inbound it on the side. They get the ball to Lindsey Perry, another foul called. Then how about a flagrant? Well, they're going to try and get us in the shooting situation here. Well, they just under three seconds. Just over four seconds, there's been three fouls committed by Russell. That's going to be their sixth personal, so the next one's going to put Minneapolis on the line. Alyssa oh, George cuts to the basket, and she gets oh, a yeah. nice layup. Heads up, smart off or offense down. on that inbounds play by the Lady Lions. And the Lady Broncos call timeout. Minneapolis with a 40-36 lead, 17.8 seconds to go in the game. I told that Dale we scored 40 up, points. That was a heads-up inbounds play. Lindsay went up and set the pick. She went back court like they were going to toss it back to her in the back court. Alyssa broke to the basket, and Megan catches her on the fly. She goes in for the easy two-point layup. <laughs> Alyssa having a nice scoring game tonight, Mike. Vic will have some stats for us here at the end of this game. Alyssa George with an offensive output tonight that uh, might be <laughs> some of the most points she's ever scored in a ball game. Well, right now she's sitting with 19. Wow. 19 points so far in this game for Alyssa George. Even with the turnovers here in the second half, Minneapolis uh, climbs back up on top by four points with 17 seconds left in this game. And look for Russell. Russell to put up a quick shot. Only 17.8 seconds. Minneapolis needs to apply a little pressure, which they're going to. No foul. They're going to pressure the inbound. Can't afford to give up a foul here. Runner by Mahoney. Mahoney shot. Go. That's going to go to Minneapolis yeah. off of blue. 11.4 seconds left to go in the game. Minneapolis will have the inbound to go the full length of the floor. Look for a quick foul here by Russell. That ball get off Russell. Minneapolis to inbound. Gotta have it. Put out, Minneapolis. Coach Darrell calls a full timeout with ten and a half seconds to go in the game. Minneapolis with a 40 to 36 lead. They'll inbound the ball with a full court to go full court. Forty thirty six. Minneapolis. Next foul will be shooting one and one. Look for Russell to foul quickly here. Even though it's a uh, two possession game right now, a missed free throw, and they would still have a chance. Two threes would win the game for them, and that's what they 
they'll need, and they can do it. They've got a couple pretty good three-point shooters. A lot of things shooters. have to go right for them. A lot of things have to go wrong for Minneapolis. Just ten and a half seconds to go. The Lions take care of this inbounds pass. Like you say, Russell's going to foul. They'll foul quick. Lady Lions need to convert them free throws, and that put the game away. Kind of like see us maybe throw long here. Uh, kind of same scenario, and that's what you're going to see right here. I think you're going to see a long ball. Spot throw in, so Steph's not able to move off the line. She tried to foul, but there was no foul called. No. Russell tried on two different times to foul. No fouls called, and this official comes down and calls traveling violation. Five point seconds to go in the game. Russell will inbound. Minneapolis is going to sit back and pick him up at half court. They're going to launch a three. If it's good, the game's over. Minneapolis wins 40-39. Well, Mike, you said 40 points would win it. The Lady Lions break a seven-game losing streak against the Russell Broncos. Well, Lindsay got fouled twice coming down the court. She got held after she got the ball, and then they hit her once and ran into her down there, and they ended up calling a traveling violation. Usually, in a, situation, a usually in a situation like that, the officials know the other team's going to foul, so they're quick to blow the whistle to get the clock stopped. That doesn't happen in this instance. They call it, they whistle Lindsay for a traveling violation. Russell inbounds the ball, comes down, spots up a three. It's good, but it's too little as Minneapolis wins at 40-39. You have some stats for us there, Vic? Or yes, you, I do. I'll tell you what, Alyssa that's George. That's popcorn, Dale. Very good. Alyssa George had an outstanding offensive night tonight. She ended the game with 19 points for high score. Megan Livengood with two points. Mallory with 10. Brooke Pischel with four. Lindsay hit a three for her only three of the game. And Anna White was two for two from the free throw line for two points. I said a little earlier, Minneapolis shot a lot better from the free throw line, and uh, they were 10 of 13 from the line tonight. Big left from Brooke Pachel coming off the bench, hit two or three buckets there that gave us some offensive punch there when we needed it. And good to see her knocking down that outside shot, playing pretty good defense too, so nice effort by our bench, Anna White and uh, Brooke Pichel. And there again, Mike, there's another one of those games where the team that Minneapolis is playing against comes in with a high-powered score, and the Lady Lions shut her down. I don't think that uh, Valerie, she might have had she eight points. Her only other points, I think, up to that up to that three was free throws. I don't think she she hit a deuce tonight. I don't think so either. We limit uh, the Mahoney girl to probably under eight points in this game, and she probably averages uh, around right around 15 a ball game. So a nice effort defensively by Minneapolis. We let them have a tray there at the end. I was glad we we're up four. That made a big difference. But anyway. Um, like you say, uh, the refs know that they're in a situation where they're going to try and foul, and they did a couple of times. But uh, like, if it, it's not called, it's not called. You got to keep playing, and you, there's no reason to pick up your dribble there. And as Lindsay did, she was caught with a travel, gave the ball back to Russell, and the chance to uh, close up the uh, gap, and they did with a three at the end, but no time left on the clock. So even if there was part of a second or one second, a full length pass clear to the other end and time would have ran out, we would have won it anyway. So no argument there by Russell at the great end. Effort, great effort on the ladies' part tonight, defensively and offensively. They stepped up offensively, uh, patient again on the offensive end, looking for the good look inside, which they got on several occasions. And uh, like I said earlier, an excellent shooting night for Alyssa George. Great effort by Lady Lions varsity. The C team played here earlier. They were victorious by about nine. H had the girls playing well, and uh, at the end, Russell not able to stay with us. I don't know how the JV girls ended up over at the other gym, but uh, probably going to be pretty close on all the matches. 
Well, we're getting ready for the boys. They will recognize some of the academics, some of the students have had this year. And Mr. Brown is here to present these honors. Double header at CAA, Lee matchup.